What's going on everybody? This is James White with Freak Interviews bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now today I've got the plush purple pillow. It's a new offering from Purple. Now you may have seen my original purple pillow review, but today we're doing the new version. So let's crack this open and see what's inside. To zip or not to zip? Let's open this up now. Ah, and here it is. All right, so this new version supposedly allows you to use the zippers to create more or less firmness. Well, that's good because some people like really soft pillows, some people like firm pillows, some people like thick pillows, thin pillows. I prefer softer, thinner pillows. We'll see how well this does. I'm a pretty big fan of the original purple pillow, which is pretty soft and pretty thin too, but not everybody likes that. Let's see if this new offering from Purple can get the job done. Taking a closer look here. So there are zippers on each side. Let's unzip this and see how it looks. They even have, oh, how cute. They even have the purple on the tag. Okay, so I, I see. So it creates more space this way. Softer, zippers open, firmer zippers close. That's very simple. It doesn't look like this case comes off, so I'm gonna probably put a pillowcase on here. But my first impression is it does feel very soft. Now it's unzipped, let me try zipping it and see how soft it feels. You can also have one side zipped and one side not zipped. Uh, I guess it feels a little bit firmer, not significantly, but yeah, a little bit. Uh, this is gonna have to go. It is machine washable. I will say that the material feels pretty cool, actually cooler than a typical pillowcase. Makes me not want to use a pillowcase now that I think about it because it's so cool, but I don't want to get this to get dirty. Their question is to zip or not to zip, but my question is pillowcase or no pillowcase, do I protect it from getting dirty or do I enjoy the cooling material? We shall see. All right, so I'm no slouch at reviewing pillows. I've actually done quite a few pillow reviews on this channel in the last two and a half years. I did the Miracle Bamboo Pillow. I did the My Pillow. I did the My Pillow Travel. I even did the Casper Travel. I even did the Vegas Golden Knights plush pillow. Actually, I didn't really view this one. I did win this at a game playing the name that tune though. So as far as the purple goes, of course I did the purple pillow, which is the 10 pound behemoth. Ugh. I even did the purple cushion. Ugh. Obviously I'm sitting on the purple mattress and finally we've got the purple plush pillow. We're gonna see how this compares to all the others. I know I've said this before, but I spent a lot more time in my bed for this channel than I ever imagined. But I wanted to try this thing out right away. So let me see, first, first impressions. Um, I have it in firm mode right now. These are zipped up. Uh, for, it seems like it's pretty soft. It's kind of cradling my head like that. I'm more of a side sleeper. Let me see here. Um, I might want to go with a softer uh, configuration. Let me try that out. I guess I'm kind of surprised that unzipping two zippers would actually make it feel softer, but it actually does feel softer. Huh. And the material's cool, but let's see how that holds up over time though, because it's easy for a material to feel cool at first, but how about all night? Next thing to do is wait for tonight and try this bad boy out. That's next. Ah, well, night number one begins now. I'm excited, I got my purple plush pillow, my purple bed, my bed jet's going. I've got it on the soft setting with the zippers open tonight. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. I'll do it with the zippers closed, but night number one begins now. All right, night number one is out of the way. Here are my observations. It's a very soft pillow. I had also in the soft configuration with the zippers open. Maybe too soft for me, but I think some people would like that softness. And the only other negative is that the material is, it's a bit scratchy for me. It's, I don't like the material as much as a softer cotton pillowcase. So I'm gonna zip it up in firmer mode tonight, put a pillowcase on here and try it out for night number two. Let's try it next. All right, night number two, I've got, because the cooling really didn't last that long, I kind of forget about that, so I've got a pillowcase with material I like on it better. I've got it zipped up for the firmer mode, so we'll see how that goes on night number two. 
We'll take a look at the pillows I reviewed over the past year and compare them. This is the Miracle Bamboo Pillow, the My Pillow Classic, the Purple Pillow, and the Purple Plush Pillow. Now, obviously, the Purple Pillow itself is much different than all the others. So it still, to me, stands out as a completely different item than any of the others. Now, the Purple Plush Pillow is also adjustable. The zippers can adjust the softness, and it has supposedly this cooling surface, which is pretty nice, but it, really, after your head's been on there for a while, it doesn't really stay cool that long. It's nothing like this 10-pound gelatinous monstrosity that the Purple Pillow is that I actually happen to like very much. Looking at the thickness of them, as you can see, the Purple Pillow is much thinner. This one isn't as thick as the other two, the My Pillow Classic and the Miracle Bamboo Pillow. Softness-wise, this one, I actually, the Miracle Bamboo, I use every day, but I don't use it for a pillow. I use it to prop myself up because it's so firm. The My Pillow Classic, I just found it to be lumpy. Look, you can see the lumps. Look at all those lumps. Wasn't a big fan of that. Some people like it, some people don't. I did not like it. Purple pillow. Now there's usually a case on here. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. But this one, it's just completely different. If you don't like a pillow that that's is that thin, you may not like this one. I happen to like it. It's kind of interesting. I've gotten used to it. Although sometimes I wake up with this pattern on my face. That does happen sometimes. Now with the purple plush pillow, it is pretty soft, which will change a little bit if you unzip it. The, the softness doesn't adjust that much. It's not like you go from a firm pillow to a soft pillow. You adjust the firmness a little bit. It doesn't take much to go almost all the way to the bed. This one, it's hard to even describe that. It is soft, but in a completely different way. The My Pillow is firmer. I'm having to push much harder to go down to the bed. And this one, I, it's just so firm, I don't even think I can push down to the bed. One thing I've noticed about the Purple Plush Pillow is that it has gotten flatter over a 10-day period to the point where it's not as big as it used to be. I think that one of the biggest cons is if you like the cooling material of this, you can't really take this case off and wash it. You have to wash the entire pillow. So if you put a case on there, you defeat the purpose of the cooling material, which is one of its touted benefits. So which one of these do I like the best? I'm still, I'm still on the Purple Pillow itself. I like that one the best of all these four. So this is the purple plush pillow. This is how I feel like I'm sleeping when I've got it like that. So I don't really like having this up on my face here. Not so much, but one of the weird thing about that is that you, it, it kind of, uh, it sounds weird. It actually sounds weird because your ear is over this material. My pillow, a little bit firm and lumpy. It's okay, not terrible. This is almost like a rock. Not really good for sleeping. All right, it's been about two weeks since I've started using the Purple Plush Pillow. And one thing I've noticed that it is getting flatter. It is flatter than when I first got it. Now, if you like flat pillows, that's a good thing. It's an improvement. If you don't like flat pillows, you like the way it came out of the box, it's not. But what I'm gonna try to do now is washing it and see if that fluffs it up a little bit or if it just stays flat. But check out the interesting instructions here. Now, it says for best results, use a front-loading washing machine, which I don't have, so we're gonna have to put it on gentle cycle. The other thing is it says tumble dry, low heat with clean tennis balls. That's not something I've seen before, but I will get some tennis balls and follow the instructions. All right, here we go. I put it on the hand washable cycle light, so it's the lightest cycle I have available to me. Let's see what happens next. All right, throw the pillow in there. I got some tennis balls. That's right. That's what it says. We'll see how it goes. Well, that sounds good, huh? It's kind of weird using the tennis balls in there. It does seem like it's fluffed up quite a bit uh, since before I put it in the washing machine. Let me compare the two of these. Here is the after. How about the before? So my final test will be to see if this fluffiness is just temporary from being in the dryer or not. So I'm going to sleep on it one more night before I wrap this up. It looks like it washed okay. It held up in the washing machine even though it wasn't a front loader. So. As far as that goes, it seems very washable, but let's see how the flatness goes for one more night. So I had a night of sleep on the pillow after it's been washed. It seems like it's still fluffy. It may have gotten slightly flatter, but what's odd to me about the Purple Plush pillow is that it got flatter over a two-week period, and I think for most people that would be a negative because they might like it right out of the box and it doesn't work as well after a couple weeks. But to me, someone who likes a little bit flatter pillows, I actually like the flatter version of it. I think it actually is a better pillow after a couple weeks. I know that's probably gonna be in the minority though, so if you don't like flatter, softer pillows, 
this probably is not the pillow for you. It is adjustable somewhat. I mean, you don't get a lot of adjustment out of it. You can make it slightly softer or slightly firmer based on the zippers. Their cooling material, I think, is of minimal value. It's cool at first, but I would rather have had a cooling pillowcase that you could take off and wash rather than have to wash the entire pillow. If you like it right out of the box, you're probably not going to like it after a couple weeks unless you have to keep putting it in the dryer. If you don't like it right out of the box, keep using it and you might like it after two weeks. Now, I'm a fan of the purple products. I've got the bed, I've got the cushion, I've got the original pillow. I don't think this is in the same league as those. It's a pretty good pillow, but I'm not sure it's worth 50 bucks. I think that if they could maybe tweak it a little bit, make the adjustment a little bit more significant, give you a pillow case instead of a pillow that's washable, I think they might be onto something. I'll wait for version 2.0 if it ever comes out. Have you guys used a purple plush pillow? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go, and please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, The Freak Interviews.